Right, so <clears throat> the new PT has dropped and I decided to just like um, mess around with Sombra's new hack abilities. Since I have no friends right now, I guess use a bot right here, which have a uh, gonna always hack people to see the changes. So now for Farah, um, she's not even to use jump jet, uh, uh, hover jets. I mean, she can't fly when she's got hacked. So I'm flying, and then if I get hacked, I can't even activate the fucking jump. I'm, like pressing space, and it doesn't work. Anything. So so far, no abilities. It's the same. This is new. Uh, the next one that's going to change is going to be uh, Genji and as well as Hanzo because uh, Hanzo and Genji share the ability to war climb and especially Genji, uh, he can't even double jump that requires a second button press so basic abilities like jump, walk are still okay but since double jump requires another active key to be pressed so he can't do that anymore Okay, if I'm half climbing, then I would just fall straight back. <sighs> Pretty much. Yeah, I can't even get up there, so it's like I like stop, it's like a stop ability. Don't move and come back down to me. Oh, said little Sombra. Definitely gonna be disastrous for Genji, because he can't use any of his defensive maneuvers. Now for the next one, I believe um, for abilities to war effect. Is uh, okay. I won't go to Hanzo because it's just basically the same. Just Come on, let's bring it together. Especially Lucio and Mercy. So, okay, you can see that there's no music, and my icons is being turned off, which means it's not working anymore. So like, I don't, I don't get speed right now. I can't change songs. If I'm healing, it just doesn't heal anymore, and it completely shuts down my healing at quite a moment. <laughs> Again, if you're wall riding, you can't wall ride again. Just the same. Okay, I can't heal right now, I'm hurt. I see wall riding. Okay, yeah. You can't use anything except shooting and walking and jumping. No dynamics. Alright. Now, to final changes is um, Mercy's passive right here. It completely shuts down on defense, it just drops straight down on the floor. And there's no way you can escape that. Of course, you can just heal or you can shoot. But that's it. Okay. Right now, it's like the patch note is not that like accurate now in describing that. The temple of Anubis. It lets you see enemies through walls if they're half health, that's good. But the, the meaning of that sentence, exact sentence, Stating that Everything now activates when enemy health bars are at less 100%. It's meaning that when the enemy health is already not at full health, then it will show you the health bar instead. So still, if the enemy are below 50%, Be right back. you can see through I'm the full wall. So right now the Summers has full health, I can't see her. Okay. Right. Me. Just as now, I can't I can't see the Summers health bar. But, but once I hurt him a little bit, oh shit, I can't. I can't hurt him anyway. Okay. I come to you. Okay. She's hurt a little bit. And then usually the health bar would like sustain for a bit, right? But now it just doesn't. It just like it will just keep there. Just keep up there. Until she got healed up for some rare reason. But I can't shoot either, damn. <laughs> so that's a good thing, maybe. Okay, she hacks a health pack but she refused to go help heal herself. Yeah, okay. But now, again, still, I she's not at half you. health, right? If she's below half health, she can be done in one, two, two, three. Now we can, of course, we can't see her because she's 50% health. That's great. That's good. And one side note is that Sombra translocator time increased right to 20 back. seconds. Uh, not too much of an impact, but that means it gives you more time for you to sneak behind the enemy and to do a lot more things that you shouldn't be able to do. So for example, here you're attacking in a, a Temple of Nubis. You can hack that or hack that, whatever. You can put it your right here, and then you can sneak yourself behind the enemy line. For example, you go up here. And now even though after you use your finish your invis, you just have like 14 seconds for you to go around. So usually at this time you already have to translocate back right now. 
but still you can do a lot more harassment right here before you eventually finally go to find this game so. Now the half fight is not important right now, it's just for your teammates, but which means your translocator locations can be more dynamic. Uh, it's, it's not like encourage you to charge your ultimate through your health pack. It encourages you to charge your ultimate through your sh to your gun, which is um, a good thing, I guess. It's not like just a support type of hero. Now she's really like an infiltration type of hero. Speed of hack reduced to 0.8 to 0.6 size seconds. Uh, oh, really big buff, to be honest. Uh, it allows you to hack a guy without, per if, Get unless down. that guy have supernatural inhuman reflexes that can enable you to stop you and locate you at the same time. However, this hack speed is so fast. I'm gonna try it. Yeah, that's much smoother. Right I'm out of that's here. definitely much smoother than before. And of course, the main guns range has been reduced from 3 to 2.7. Well, I'm not sure how to represent this. I may go to the range and go have a look at it. But, um, you know, the spread is gonna be one thing that will affect how you play the game pretty much. And it all ups to how well, you, how effective you can charge your ultimate. Still now, I'm not like in real combat, so I can't really test out how good it is. But it may be better. Let's have a little comparison on how the thing works.